Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Manchester City produced a near flawless performance to overpower the reigning champions. Real Madrid's 4-0 humiliation at the hands of Manchester City in Wednesday night's Champions League semi-final second leg prompted an emotional backlash in the Spanish media, as attention turned to pathetic, cowardly coach Carlo Ancelotti. City's masterclass was enough to make you cry, according to S, while Josep Pedrol, presenter of La Sexta TV's Cheering Widow Sports Show said, Real is losing because of Ancelotti's pathetic and cowardly approach. There was genuine shock at the one-sided nature of the defeat and calls for a complete overhaul of the club's personnel. The front page headline of sports paper Merca could hardly be clearer, a thrashing, of the kind that really hurts. Marika said that Real had suffered a 90-minute long nightmare at the Etihad. Rival sports papers went with a front-page photograph of Karim Benzema with his face in his hands and El Pais chief sports writer Jose Simano described the night in Manchester as an earthquake for Real. What I cannot forgive is the impression Real have given in defeat, said Thomas Rancero, chief Real Madrid correspondent for AS. Madrid were beaten 4-0 and you have to be thanking, Thibaut. Courtois it wasn't by more. Guillaume Balag, one of the most prominent Spanish football journalists wrote on Twitter that, few teams in the history of the game have reached this level. Asked about his future at Real Madrid, and Salati said afterwards there was no doubt in that club president Florentino Perez had signaled his support for the coach. But Pridrag Miatovic, who won La Liga in the Champions League during his spell at the club, said, I believe that we can clearly speak of a cycle that has ended. Like many other pundits, Miatovic suggested that Carlo Ancelotti's time was up. Tonight has shown that Real Madrid must think about the future, starting with the coach and the players, he said. The team wasn't good, the rival was much better. Now we have to make plans for this summer and for the future. The former Montenegrin forward said Real needed replacement forwards and full backs, but said Luka Modric and Tony Cruz, both substituted in the second half, should still play a role next season. View from Italy, do not hand Man City the Champions League trophy just yet. By Vincenzo D'Angelo and Paolo Tomaselli. In England, many are crowning Manchester City as champions of Europe already after their dismantling of Real Madrid. But in Italy, the view is that the final is far from a foregone conclusion against Inter a team that has assets that can trouble City. Vincenzo D'Angelo, La Gazzetta dello Sport. Inter needs a sporting miracle because Manchester City are the strongest team in the world. They have everything, quality, intensity and many players who can step up to be MVP in every game as well as a manager who has changed world football with his ideas. Nevertheless, Inter do not start off beaten and they know anything can happen in a final. Inter are very solid defensively this season in Europe with 8 clean sheets in the Champions League. Only Benfica has scored against them, but the result was already decided by the time they did in the second leg. Their hopes rely on their midfield, but Azavik and Salhanoglu will have to do an extraordinary job to be able to stem City's dribbling and then have the quality to turn on the forwards and scare Guardiola. Lautaro Martinez personifies the team. He is a world champion who scores goals but crucially sacrifices himself to work hard for the team. Inter manager Simone Inzaghi will try to follow his own philosophy, be tidy at the back, stay focused in the face of City's onslaught and, when they have the opportunity to attack, be decisive and accelerate on the flanks, with defenders who can join an attack and also use Edin Ziku or Romelu Lukaku as an aerial threat. Inter will have an idea. But the problem is that Manchester City forces you to stay behind the ball. Paolo Tomaselli, Corriere della Sera. In August nobody, and Inter dreamed of the final. They have not had a good season in the league but in the Champions League they have played at their best. The fans know that the route to the final helped Inter, but that does not mean a chance of glory is undeserved. Winning remains a dream, but there is also great enthusiasm that a shock could be pulled off. Everyone knows that City are favourites, but there are more than three weeks to go and in one game anything can happen. There is no fear, I think the pressure of the result is all on Manchester City. Simon Insagi since his Lazio days has won domestic cups as an underdog. 
He was also an underdog against Barcelona in October but Inter went through. He is not ultra-defensive, but he is an excellent example of the Italian school and he prepares the best matches this way. Very deep defense and organized, fast counter-attacks. To shut themselves in the box 90 minutes is madness but in turn no they will have to suffer to win. Much depends on the choice and attack between Ed and Zico, always the starter in big games, or Romelu Lukaku, who is more powerful in the counter-attack. Zico is likely to still play. Inter's other strengths are the three-man defense that have excelled all season in the Champions League while the wide players, Federico De Marco and Denzel Dumfries, in the midfield with Nicolo Barella provide very strong insertions up the pitch. Long balls are an option for them with Anana very good at distributing from the back. Inter are a physical team but also a technical one. It is now in the best condition it has been in all campaign. Let's see on June 10th. Pep Guardiola told his players to visualize winning the treble after hailing the greatest performance of his seven-year reign as Manchester City manager. Man City crushed Real Madrid 4-0 at the Etihad Stadium to reach a second Champions League final in three years after channeling the pain of last season's agonizing defeat to the Spanish Giants. Inter Milan now stand between them and an elusive first European Cup in Istanbul on June 10th, when Guardiola's men could also become only the second English side in history to win the treble. City will clinch a fifth Premier League title in six seasons if they beat Chelsea on Sunday assuming Arsenal do not first gift them the trophy by losing at Nottingham Forest the day before, and also face Manchester United in the FA Cup final next month. And Guardiola has urged his players to seize the chance to become history makers. We are there now and the players can think about it, visualize it, he said. We are three games away. One in each competition. We can do it. We need to win one more game in the Premier League. Then we have our neighbors in the cup and a Champions League final against an Italian side. The pleasure of being there and playing against Inter Milan is incalculable and we are going to enjoy the occasion. City's stunning victory over Real, which Guardiola described as the highest of his tenure at the club, came 12 months after a dramatic late semi-final collapse at the Bernabeu. We still had that pain in our stomach from last year and we brought it all out today. We had the energy after so much pain last year, he said. It was so hard and tough last season when we played quite similar to today and I remember Tony Cruz gave an interview saying they could have lost 10-1 or 10-2 in the first leg at the Etihad. Cruz is one of the best players I have ever seen and trained and when he says that it means we were there and it was really tough losing the way we lost. In that moment, we had to swallow poison but football and sport always gives you another chance. When the draw was Madrid, I said yeah, I want it. I wanted it because I think today everything was there, the energy we had from a year of being criticized as players for not having character when we lost because it was football. Today it was there and I'm pleased for the whole organization, for the chairman, owner, staff and especially all of the players because we accepted the defeat and today we were there. One year later, we are in the final of the Champions League. Football and life always give you opportunities if you don't give up. Carlo Ancelotti, the real coach, admitted his side had been well beaten but expressed no concerns over his future as manager. No one doubts me, the president has been quite clear two weeks ago, there are no doubts about my staying on, he said. Listen, I had the feeling these last days that uh, we had the mix of calm and tension, you know, to play this type of games. And after 10 or 15 minutes, I had the feeling that uh, all the pain that we had during one season, one year, what happened last season, was today there. So it was so hard, uh, tough last season, when here, last season, we played quite similar to like today played. And could be, I remember Tony Cross an interview during the year that Madrid is special because we could have lose 10-1 or 10-2 in Etihad, but we could not lose 10-1, 10-2. When Tony Cross, one of the best players I ever trained and ever seen, say that, that, that we were there. And it was really tough, lose the way we lose. And I think in that moment we had to swallow poison, you have to swallow everything and be kind. And, and football and sport always give you another chance. And when the draw with Madrid, I said, yeah. I want it. 
I want it because then I think today we was there, everything. The energy that we had last season during one year that uh, being criticized these players but didn't have character, didn't have anything. When we lose because it's football, today was there and I'm very pleased for the whole organization, for the German owner, especially the players and all the staff behind because we accept the defeat with a, with a, another cannot be cannot be the opposite and today we were there and that's why one year later so we are in the final of the Champions League and and always to give you football always to give you life always to give you the certain opportunities Postings don't give up just try again try again important is to be there this we are one game away to be three years in a row Premier League winners one game away and uh and if it is happened, we are three years in a row winning the Premier League and we have been two final Champions League and one semi-final Champions League. And that is the consistency. Always I put examples of four times in a row Carabao Cup, Carabao Cup winners. That means that the level of this. This team, there is one incredible detail that I am so proud. There is so humble. Every game, it doesn't matter the opening the competition, he takes seriously. When do that, it's because they are so humble. And that's it with the pros. I hate the arrogance in sports. I hate the, the moments that you believe something that you are not. And these guys has done since many, many years these type of things. And today they got the reward they deserve. So we have time. It's not Italian team. It's, yeah, I would say final against Italian team. Like the people is going to talk now. They are not favorites. We are favorites. That, 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 that is the worst that can happen. But we have time to prepare. And now we just focus in Chelsea because we have to try to close it as soon as possible to prepare United and Inter de Milan. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.